This is one question from the chapter similar triangle. It says in triangle ABC, AD, there is no comma here by mistake. AD is the median of, is the median, right? AD being the median of triangle ABC and O is any point, this point O, O is any point on this median. But then it says that uh, this BO is produced to meet AC at E and OC is joined and produced to meet AB at F. Further, we are also given uh, that A, this line AD is produced to meet this as X. And what else we have? We have one more information and what is it? That is this OB is OD is equal to DX from here. So these are the information noted. Now, what is the two proof part? In the first part, we have to prove AF. Sorry, this is EF. EF is parallel to BC. Clearly, it should be done by using BPT. But let's say how we can apply BPT. So if I just consider uh, this quadrilateral, let me first shed this. That's done. In this quadrilateral, what information we have? We are given that this is is O X O D is equal to D X. That's all to be given to us that O D is equal to D X. Further, B D should be equal to C D. Uh, this is because A D is the median. You must be knowing that a median is line joining the midpoint of a side with its opposite vertex. Now, let me write on first. What we have proved here that uh, it's not proved. It's given that O D is equal to dx and we have bd is equal to cd so we can figure out that here the diagonals of this quadrilateral bisect each other therefore we can say that it is a parallelogram that is o b x c is a parallelogram now once we have proved it a parallelogram we can write their opposite sides as parallel and what are the opposite sides here if i shed the opposite sides. This is Bx should be parallel to this. Right? If, it, if this is parallel, then it means its produced part will also be parallel. And similarly, here Cx, the other one, that is this one. Cx is parallel to OB. So if it is parallel, that means its produced part will also be parallel. Right. So we can write this. We need to write uh, that uh, BX is parallel to CF and CX is parallel to BE. Right. So that means its produced part will also be parallel. I just now we are going to apply BPT and uh, that's on the triangle. Let's say if I consider this triangle. So as you can easily observe that here, OF is given parallel to BX, not given. We have proved it. Parts of parallel line are parallel. So here I'm going to apply BPT. So we'll consider triangle A, B, this is triangle ABX. We have OF. OF is parallel to BX. So from BPT, I can say that AF over BF is equal to AO over OX. And the reason is basic proportionality theorem. I'll mark it equation one. Now let's consider the other triangle on the other side. So this time if I color it green. So I'm talking about this triangle. Here too, in the same manner, we can apply BPT. That is triangle E X C. We have OE is parallel to X. That's proved above. 
So from BPT, I can say AF over, it's not AF, it's AE over EC is equal to AO over OX. Same reason, basic proportionality theorem, but this time equation two. Now, what you can observe here that uh, we have the same RHS, so we can equate their LHS. And therefore, we can write in triangle, in triangle, let me first erase this thing and shed the triangle first. So this is the triangle I'm talking about. Right, look into this triangle. In this triangle, what we have found out from these two equations, right? From the equation one and two, triangle A, B, C, we have obtained that A, F over B, F is equal to A, E over E, C, right? That is from one and two, as you can see, their right hand sides are equal, so we can equate their LHS. But what we have uh, found out here that this over this is equal to this over this. So we can apply by converse of BPT, we can say by converse of BPT, by converse of BPT, we can say that EF is parallel to BC. This is what we needed to prove in the first part. Now, once we have proved this, what is the next part? Is AO, let me check, where is AO? It's here, that is AO over AX, AX is equal to AF, over a b and that's a corollary we can now uh, write it but uh, let's prove it first and i'm going to prove this from this part only check here we have already a o here so i'm going to use this so first i'll reciprocate and add one to both side the way textbook has done so this is if I reciprocate and I can write this as BF over AF is equal to OX over AO. And if I add one to both side, this is added one to both side. Now, if I take LCM, what we are going to get is AF plus BF over AF and this side OX plus AO over AO. Now what is AF plus BF? You can see it is AB, right? So I can write this as AB. This will become AB. And this is AF is equal to, what is OX plus OA? OX plus OA is, this is OX, right? OX plus O A is what? A X. So that is A X over A O. And if you reciprocate this one more time, if you reciprocate this one more time, you are going to get this. So this is how this question is done.